Hey, how's it going folks? Easy here with a quick iMovie tutorial. So this tutorial is an answer to a common question that comes up. And the question is, is why are my images moving when you drop them into the timeline or you import them into your timeline? So the, it's a very simple answer. So let me go ahead. I just dropped an image here, push and play. And the thing is moving. I don't want it moving. <laughs> or maybe I do. So basically, first things first, how do you stop that? First thing you do is you select the actual image itself. You go to the cropping tool here and you go either fit or you can crop the fill if you need a uh, smaller piece of, of, the, of the actual image or whatever. But again, at this point, once you do that, there should be no movement whatsoever. Okay, so let me undo what I just did. Okay, so we're back to the moving image. And the reason why it actually defaults to that, so what we're gonna do is go to our iMovie at the top menu here and you go into settings and if you look here the photo placement usually defaults to Ken Burns so what you can do is have it placed to crop the fill or fit I usually set mine to fit and once I change that I'll show you what happens I'll go ahead and close that here so we delete that let's put the image back in here so once I drop it into the timeline there should be zero movement because I set it to fit and we'll go ahead and click on it here Go up to our cropping tool and we can see that it's set to fit here. So that's the reason why your images actually start moving and that's how you fix it. Again, you click on the image itself, you go to the cropping tool and you either pick crop to fill or fit. Fit's most likely going to basically take your image and make it fit as closely as possible to the screen itself. Sometimes I'll use crop to fill if I don't want any black borders depending on the dimensions of the actual image itself. And once you're finished with that, you just go ahead and click on the check mark. Okay, so now we have an image that fits without any black borders. And that's basically how you do it. All right, I want to thank you for checking out the vid. We'll talk to you next time as usual. Peace and aloha.